first of all, thank you to Tristan, Christine, and Philippe for the invitation. It's very nice to be with you and to share this kind of ideas that are illuminated uh, for the issue that we are thinking. So uh, I have to apologize myself because I have to leave at 6 p.m. because I have to take my daughter to the swimming pool. I'm sorry, uh, but this, uh, this time is, is difficult. Well, I will start. First of all, I have to say that in Latin America, we are living in a very uh, difficult time in, in terms of economic and political uh, stages. But first of all, I, I want to, to share my, my approaches to think platforms. And I think that we have to first think in world economy. Of course, uh, uh, Braudel gave us that important uh, view to understand capitalism. And I think that the last stage of capitalism is, is global capitalism and the new driver for that global capital is, is the platforms or, or and data for sure. Uh, we have to think in, in world system too. <clears throat> As you know, Ballerstein gave us that idea to try to understand at the same time the world economy. And uh, uh, Armand Martellard talked about world communication. And I think that uh, is the other key to try to understand our uh, societies, our contemporary societies. In fact, I think that world co communication is now in the center of the world system and the world economy. It's where the battles uh, are taking place in terms of ideology. It's where the discussion to, to have a better world or a different world is taking place. So that's uh, my, my view to, to try to understand what is going on uh, with platforms is these approaches. And certainly history is the key in my point of view to try to think continuities and change. As I told you, these are some remarks about Latin America. Uh, it's more in, in terms of the political systems and societies that we are living at, at this moment. And I just want to underline the mediatization of politics and political polarization and populism is taking place in a, a hardus, in a hardus a, a stage. So the, this is important to take in, in account to, to try to understand the importance of media reform because the, the battle is there, the, the ideology is there. And uh, we have to think now how our, our, our communication systems, what are the characteristics of our communication systems. As we know, it's in a mutation in flux because of the social media and the platforms and the, our communication systems are clientelist, as you know. We have a weak public service. Our uh, communication systems are high concentrated. Uh, and the good things of our uh, communication systems is the possibility of the emergence of the community media that finally is giving voice to uh, many communities that doesn't have it. Uh, but we have to think it in this uh, mutation in terms of new media and old media. We have always to think in those uh, parameters in Latin America. Other things that are important to recall and, and um, to label it is the important uh, that is happening with the fake news. There is a lot of fake news in uh, our communication systems, and we are trying to uh, finally to shape and model it our uh, media reforms in our states. But let me go backwards 
And remember, in the 70s, in, in Latin America, it was a, a, a hoof, a, a hoof, sorry, uh, for the <clears throat> idea of the national communication policies. And in those years, the main spirit or the main claims that uh, was made during those years was the democratization of the communication systems, the cultural autonomy, that it, it was very important to have national communication policies, to have cultural autonomy, and of course, to think in development. And here in, in, in that context, it was when the cultural imperialism idea of Herbert Schiller uh, taking place, but it was product of a discussion in Latin America with many uh, Latin American scholars and Schiller uh, made it uh, that point or raised that point. And I, I would like to, uh, to recall that concept and uh, I will quote uh, Herb Schiller, the concept of cultural impairness describes the sum of processes by which a society is brought into the modern world system and how its the meaning stratum is attracted, pressured, forced, and sometimes uh, drive it into shaping social institution to correspond to or ever promote the values and structures of dominant uh, dominant rent of the system that was the the idea of Schiller in the late 70s so i would like to say that uh, in latin america we are trying finally to build our uh, communication system or our media systems as you know, we have had uh, these uh, local players or these national champions, media national champions uh, in, in the area. And these uh, actors were the entities to shape the contents of a uh, US. It was a filter. There, there were the filter of the contents of the US. But now, the equation is different. Who is filtering the nationals or, or the communication uh, uh, system and news is uh, the GAFA entities. Uh, now I am trying to uh, elaborate how the national communication system is in relation with this global uh, tech companies that now are shaping in some way how we are consuming news and how we are consuming content. I am not going to go to deep uh, in this uh, data, it's just to, to have an idea of the importance of these big players. Uh, and I will go just to uh, this idea that I think it's very important to see the concentration of the platforms in Latin America. As you can see, in, uh, in terms of the browsers, this is the market share for Latin America. So Google, it's concentrating the 82% of every uh, search that we do so this is the data that they are getting is it's very impressive as you can see this is one layer of this kind of concentration of these platforms i am trying to to show you just the macro uh, label on the macro uh, uh, data this is just the browser and the in terms of the search engine it, the concentration it's it's worst 97 percent of every uh, search that we do in latin america goes through google uh, so as we can see 
uh, we are in a worse scenario than we were in the 70s or than we were before. Uh, and the power that these companies are building, it's more than obvious. And the other uh, data that I would like to show you in terms of concentration is the social media. And the social media, as you can see, Facebook is the social media that has more market share in the region. Uh, as I told you, the thing is that these big uh, platforms are shaping our consume of news and the fake news goes to the, those uh, platforms too. Uh, so how to moderate this scenario, how to moderate the national scenario and the global scenario. So the challenges are very, very big to try to address this new kind of hybrid uh, communication system that we are having in our region, but we have to say that it's more complicated because the polar pol polarization that we have in terms of politics is giving us a difficult uh, a, a position to try to address these important uh, situations that the platforms are uh, uh, reshaping or are changing our communication systems. As you know, the, the datification uh, is another uh, point that has to be uh, at least uh, uh, regulated in terms of transparency. We have to ask transparency to these big players, uh, but it is not going to be something that will be nation by nation. It has to be a global regulation. Uh, there is another uh, things that are happening uh, with platforms uh, and we have to ask what is going on in this uh, scenario. For example, if you see how platforms are using uh, people or, or how people is using platforms to make money, uh, we can think in, a, an, in another concept or in another characterization. Uh, if we replicate the idea of castells of mass self-communication, but we are seeing some kind of mass self-modification -comodif with the YouTubers, with the cosplay, and, and other kind of things that we are seeing with the use of platforms. So as you can see, media policy and regulation in these times are uh, very challenging, but it's something that we have to do. And it's something that it has to be regionally, globally, and nationally. It has to be in different uh, labels because uh, otherwise, is not going to change this situation that we are uh, having in those years. So uh, sorry for the quick presentation, but I have to finish here. I'm sorry for the, the, the difficulties that I had in this moment, sorry.